good day everyone today i would like to talk about javascript promises what the hell is that yes many people have told me what the hell is that so that's what i'm using so i'll show you by writing code that it's not exactly difficult to write javascript promises but before showing that how i'm going to test the javascript page let's say i'm showing you a very simple javascript which is console.log javascript promise is what the hell is that this id is actually visual studio 2015 which is pretty good you may try that now the best place to test your javascript is your browser so this is my firefox browser i've created a file called promise test.html if i show you the source of it i'm just calling a script with the promise test or javascript which is the file which i have just shown to you so if I run that file, my JavaScript will run. But where to see that? Press F12 key, at least on a Firefox as well as on a Chrome, you'll see a console. Here you go. Here is the console. So every time you run it, whatever printout, uh, whatever your console.log things are there, it, it will just be printed out over there. Look at that. That's great. <coughs> so this will be our test bed. Coming back to JavaScript promises, what the hell are that? So I'll try to explain from the layman's perspective and I try to come up with the best possible definition of JavaScript promises. In, in my understanding and to whatever I have uh, talked to people around, promises are another way of writing nested conditional codes. There are other applications of promises, but this is the way um, promises are being advertised quite 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 a time okay so uh, if you go further like what this leads to this if else condition if you look uh, carefully it will lead to this this is a bigger block this is the middle block this is the short block and it leads to a pyramidal structure on the left side people had given various name to it like triangle pyramid of doom it's up to you what you want to call okay so this 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 is a really a problem when you actually go into nested ifs and end up doing something which is um, which creates problem it does okay so before going into the promise i just wanted you to remember three things about promise Promises are mainly used for returning from a function, okay, and the function which return a promising object, promise object is called promising function. The promise object is created by giving two callbacks as an input parameter. One callback is for promise fulfillment, another callback is for promise re So as you know, a promise will either be fulfilled or rejected. So it's one of the condition. So before going further, let's write, try to write a code which looks something like this. I'll go back to my editor. Let's say I'll have just some variable which is global or something. It's called true. And I define a function called nested func function. Correct. So what I want to do is that I want to create a timeout. Uh, in the timeout, if you don't know it, you can look Google about it. You have to give a callback function to handle the timeout. I want the timeout to run for two seconds. So in this timeout, what I would like to do if my somewhere is true, I'll try to do some print. I'll do console doc lock. I'll say, for example, first condition success. If, if not, what I would like to do, I'll say first condition failed. Fair enough. Now this is the first level of uh, nest, uh, nesting. Now, if this condition gets successful, this condition, then I want to start another timeout. Similar to the way I did it earlier. Again, I'll have a callback function. And I want to run it again for the same time. And inside this also, I'll say if somewhere equal to equal to equal to true, then I'll say, again, I'll try to say something like uh, 
instead of first i'll say second condition is success or uh, if not i'll say second condition failed correct so this is the second level of nesting now as i want to go one more level let's say do a set one more time out this is just just for understanding it's easy to understand this way and again i do the time out for 2 second and that it what i will do again i will put a if condition if somewhere equal to equal to true i'll do condition third condition success else i'll do okay i just don't want to type it again and again so so dot the third condition failed and this is the problem of copy paste fair enough this looks fine and then what i would like to do is call this nested function let's go back to our browser and try to do it again call it yes you can see this first condition success second condition third condition success everything is success run it again this initial kind of 2 seconds later this came 2 second later this came and finally this came fair enough so in the meantime if you make it false um here itself then none of the condition will get success in the 2 second itself you will get first condition failed end of program and if it is true here and let's say you put some var equal to false over here then if you run the program first condition will be success second condition will be failed so on and so forth fair enough okay now let's before now go back to promises um we need to first create a very simple promise before you go further into detail into it so for the time being i'll just comment this portion Okay, and let's create a promise function which I call p fun p function. Okay, so what a promise function does? It returns new promise. Okay, remember this. It returns a promise object, and this promise object takes two callback. So we have to. clear the when the promise is kept and promise is not kept okay so this is the way it happens so here also we can do set time out same thing we will do like function time out handler will be there and one one time out for run for 2 seconds and inside this what i will do i'll say if some var equal to true now if you see it over here i just console dot log success condition here i can say kept again first condition success okay if that's not correct i'll say not kept first condition failed so i'll put it like this quotes done okay that's done now you can call this p function like this fair enough you can just call it just see how i'm going back what i do let's say anything happens after 2 second nothing because we have defined the handler of success this kept and not kept has to be defined so when we say there is something called then something is wrong over here wait sorry i was trying to find out what happened so turn out this spelling is bad so what you do if you call this function you have to there are two thing you can do you can call it with then then you can define this function 
it gives you a parameter called widget ticket message fine just say console.log msg and now for exception there is something called catch so when promise are not kept catch will be called when premise is kept then will be called again define the callback function like this similar fair enough go to this run it something should happen after two seconds yes first condition success because it calls then okay now if you make it false the promise not kept will be called and it will go to catch area run it again first condition failed fine now this is all about first if condition so what about uh, nesting if there can be many ways it can be done but i would like to do it in the similar way inside a function the way it is being done over here so that it's clear so what i will do i'll remove this the best thing about promise is that it can be nested so you are giving a promise over here then do the same thing function message okay can i came here fine you just do console dot log message sorry msg fine but here in the then um, we can also return a new promise so you can very well copy this thing again over here and do the same thing okay you can say um, okay say instead of first you can say second condition success or second condition failed right again you can do then for third level of nesting you can again do function msg okay and in the function msc do console dot log msc fine and here you can again do the same thing okay for third condition you can say third condition success third condition failed and you can again make a final then see here you just say console console dot log msc and make a final catch again do the function of message that's pretty much it now we are done with this promise function we can just call this function as we called this nested function now run it first condition failed okay we have made it false we may now make it back true after two second first success after second success third success perfect so see we have just uh, converted this if else into a set of promises the thing is that there is no nesting like this one functional block is independent from another functional block and each then can return new promise and it can be it can again be denable it's called denable so the thing is that this there are various permutation combination that can be done one very important thing there is only one catch block okay something in if you need to write else for every if condition here only one catch block is enough because let's say here it's true go to second level and make some verb or equal to false now if we run it we'll see the difference first condition success second condition fail third is never executed i mean it it's it's similar to the promise like once your promise is failed it will not go to the further thenable things i mean once somebody doesn't keep your promise you don't believe the 
person to be keeping the promise any longer so there is only one exception handler which can handle any exception you can even have have different function signatures so on and so forth so um, we have already written the code something like this we have already written the same code using promises functionality wise no difference promise wise there is a difference okay because each i mean it, when we are actually doing uh, some serious javascript programming um, it it helps but it's it's up to you uh, how good or bad is for you but most of the people have found it very useful once they understood it that's pretty much it about promises and if you have any question you can um, get in touch with me my contacts are, are just uh, coming on the screen also uh, you can visit ninelin um, in the github and other places ninelin.com you'll get to some more information about code till then have a um, good promising practice good day thanks thanks for listening if you like it don't forget to press the like button thanks bye